So we are about to begin our building project. We're going to be building a shrine to house the deity Durga. We've just done a fire ceremony uh, to honor the land and their ancestors and the elements. And uh, so we're here in Petaluma. And, uh, and this is Vasanti. And uh, so this is where the structure is going to be. We've just put a, uh, a border of stones around. It'll be a, um, it'll be a 10 foot in diameter dome. Uh, so 10 feet across, 10 feet tall. <laughs> So we're now about to start making our adobe bricks and uh, so far we've laid out the, uh, uh, we have the base rock in the foundation and we're going to use sandbags for the foundation. And so our process of doing bricks is, you ready? Yeah. We get this form, we get the form wet first. So we're using the earth for the bricks is right here, right, uh, excavated right from the ground. And uh, it's, it's a pretty good mix of, uh, oh, actually, just wait a sec. It's a pretty good mix of clay. Uh, this is, we did a little shake test, and uh, we put the earth in with a glass of water, and we saw how, how much sand to clay there was, and it seems to be about 50% uh, sand and 50% clay. So we're adding some more sand to the mix so that it'll be about 70% sand. Okay, all right. This is my brother Matt working with me. This reminds me of in India, but in the villages. They use cow dung and make it into fuel, you know. They pat it like this, but round, and let it dry up, and then use it for fuel. Put it on, you kind of squish it in. And then I go ahead and smooth it kind of connect it to the one next to it. So then I take some more cob and put it inside the, the gap. Here it's gonna go like this. It's going so each each row goes to the end of this. So it'll be going from here. So pretty much from here on it's really gonna start curving in, right? And so then it's gonna be about nine feet tall. So it'll be nine feet tall, nine feet across. Then we can go ahead and take off the, the arch, the form for the window now. So we just gotta push this out. Voila, we've got an arch. Me so super. We're discussing that presence the sun. And here we have, this is the stylized way of showing Mahavishnu, the preserver's uh, weapons. He has four, Shanka, Chakra, Gada, and Padma. Shanka is the conch that stands for sound, the curative aspects of sound vibrations as well as the destructive aspects of sound vibration, Shanka.
So we're making progress on our dome and we're gonna getting up pretty high just about to the very end. So I'm using a really sticky clay for the top. I'm not adding much sand just so it, it holds in place good. Correct. Uh, like that, put a kind of a keystone in the middle. And um, so the door is kind of low because the idea is to uh, bow down. When you enter the temple, the shrine, you bow down kind of in reverence is the idea. So that's why we made the door kind of low. And it's so pretty when you're so dirty, oh yeah. All right, plastering the ceiling. And this is a really nice, sticky plaster mix here. So again, this plaster mix here is made up of earth and a little sand and some flour paste, which makes it sticky, and some manure, which also makes it sticky and gives it some fibers, and uh, a little oil, a little linseed oil, to help bind the sand and the clay together and a little bit of mica um, to give it a little sparkle. Now we are plastering the outside of the dome. So the plaster that we're using is a, uh, for the first coat is earth, and like about 50% earth, then about 50% lime, and sand, kind of a coarse uh, sand, and just a little bit of linseed oil, and horse manure, and uh, it's a little bit of flour paste. So we're putting it on, so we've done this so far. Now doing the floor now, we're doing a earth cob floor. So we're just getting, uh, we're getting some earth actually from our house about a mile away. And just we uh, mix with some sand and some straw. So just kind of packing it in. And uh, I used to set tiles, so I have old uh, tile setting tools. So I use a trowel to kind of flatten it out. and then... Now in the exciting phase of sealing our dome. So uh, we've let it dry out for a couple weeks, and um, so it should be pretty well dried to seal. So we're sealing it with a linseed oil, and uh, we're putting linseed oil, and um, we're adding a little bit of this um, diatomaceous earth into the linseed oil um, to help shed the water. So now we're about to do a plaster, do an earthen plaster on the floor. And so what this plaster consists of is this manure. Uh, it's, uh, this is cow manure. I actually got this cow manure around the corner from here at the high school. Some, uh, some seniors did a, a prank on the principal and they put a big pile of cow manure um, in his driveway, in his parking spot. And so I went there and I got this. So it was basically just dropped right at my doorstep. Very fortunate. but the more popular name because based on her iconography inside is when she's called a Shakambari or the goddess of the green movement. So she seems to be very happily settled here and there are people already coming and feeling the effects of sitting here quietly for meditation. Right. Yeah. And Micah has done a marvelous job of it. <laughs> Yeah, my.